Yes, so good afternoon. I see a lot of hands are being raised. We will get to them as soon as possible. In the meantime, my name is Ifi Munam, the program lead for Nourishing Africa, and thank you for joining us today for the Nourishing Africa Entrepreneur Support Program pre-launch webinar, where we'll be providing insights, answering as many questions about the program as possible, um, and getting to as many questions and an overview of the program, as well as providing key insights on Nourishing Africa and our various opportunities and resources. Uh, I'm joined by my colleague, Ramat, who is going to introduce herself as well. And then we're going to get started. Ramat. All right, thank you so much, Ifi. Good afternoon, everybody. And thank you again for joining us today. We are delighted to welcome you to the pre-launch webinar. And a big thank you for applying uh, to the program. We really hope that we can uh, work with a number of you to um, help your businesses to develop more resilience and provide the adequate support to push your businesses to the next stage. So I want, uh, before we go on to the program, a number of you actually registered uh, for this pre-launch webinar. So I would like us to take a couple of minutes to allow them to join. And I also wanted to mention that we will be streaming this pre-launch webinar on our Facebook and um, YouTube channels. All right. So thank you again for joining us. For those of you who have just joined, uh, my name is Ifi Munna. I'm the program lead for Nourishing Africa. And uh, this, thank you for joining us and thank you for applying for the Entrepreneur Support Program. We're going to get started uh, with the agenda for today. And this, the aim of this webinar is to provide more information about the program, the next steps. Uh, but I do need to uh, explain or state that it's imperative to note that this webinar does not automatically mean that you have been accepted into the program. It's to provide more information about Nourishing Africa as well as the program as a whole. And as we go further into the conversation, I will explain uh, what the application and, and um, success of your application means and what the, the next steps are. But as you can see by this agenda, we're gonna do an introduction followed by more detail about the program, answer questions uh, that you may have. In the meantime, please uh, start typing out your questions. We have the Nourishing Africa team online who will note uh, the questions and, and put them onto our internal group so that I can read them um, and answer them as we go when it's time for questions and answers. Uh, Ola and the team, please take notes. We'll follow that up with next steps and um, how you can receive updates from us as it relates to the program and uh, other activities that we have ongoing. Nourishing Africa is a home for what we hope to be over a million entrepreneurs who will transform the agriculture and food landscape. Uh, we are a membership and knowledge platform aimed at providing the support needed for young African entrepreneurs to scale their agribusinesses for us to not only be um, self-sufficient in terms of food, but to be net exporters of food to the world by 2050. And we do this through providing uh, a membership, which allows us to create a community of entrepreneurs that know each other, that can help each other, that partner to grow. Um, and in the same time where we can provide access to funding opportunities, data, learning resources, um, and other tools to help that your business scale. We're also a knowledge and capacity building uh, organization that facilitates strategic offline and virtual convenings, trainings, workshops, all aimed um, at providing tailored support to entrepreneurs such as yourself uh, with the aim of seeing your businesses grow. Uh, there's a quick video that will provide more information on what we do, and I'm going to play that now. Can the team confirm they can hear it? So the team has said they cannot hear.
Over to you, Ramat. Thank you so much, Ifi. So, all right, you've seen the video and you have a pretty good sense of uh, what Nourishing Africa is about. And I am sure that a number of uh, people who have joined this call are already members. But for those of you who are not members, I'd like to speak about the benefits of joining the Nourishing Africa Hub and how you can actually become members. Because a core part of um, this entrepreneurial support program uh, for us is to be able to support those who are selected for the program and those who are not selected for the program. And to increase your chances, uh, it would be uh, better if you join the Nourishing Africa platform uh, at the moment. We've had uh, more than 15,000 applications, but unfortunately we will be unable to support everybody. But by joining the Nourishing Africa platform, uh, we can extend further support to businesses that are selected and those that are not uh, selected. So how do you become members of the Nourishing Africa Hub? But before we get there, uh, um, just a list of um, opportunities that you get by joining the Nourishing Africa Hub. Uh, we have access and referrals to funders and funding opportunities. Uh, we have created a marketplace for agri-food businesses to engage with potential customers, partners, and suppliers. Uh, we have the free advertising and opportunities to showcase your businesses both on our social media platforms, and we also amplify that to our different stakeholders and partners. We work towards getting you discounts on key agricultural inputs and services based on requests that you have posted to us. And we also extend invitations to online and in-person training programs, one of such of which is the Entrepreneur Support Program. So we, are in partnership with different stakeholders in the landscape, get you invitations, exclusive invitations to these training programs that you are unable to find anywhere else. Also, we provide you access to members-only data and resources that are essential to build skills for you and your team. We nominate our members for local and global speaking opportunities towards amplifying the work that you do. We um, also solicit and get you media appearances, prizes, and awards, and our members who might be on this call uh, would testify to our nominations in the past year. Also, we do talent matchmaking to help you find the best talent for your business. In fact, we have a jobs page on the National Africa Hub where you can list the various uh, vacancies and talent needs in your business. And we will be launching uh, more of talent matchmaking very soon. We also provide you access to leading experts in the industry. A number of you might have used the um, Ask an Expert um, se segment where you are able to interact directly with some experts in the landscape and ask tailored questions that affect your businesses and get immediate responses to this question. We also connect you with other entrepreneurs. Currently, we have more than 700 entrepreneurs in the hub across Africa. So it's not limited only to Nigeria. You are able to speak with other entrepreneurs in the agri-food landscape across Africa, ask about their experiences and partner with them, for example, to export your businesses to other African countries, if that's one of your core business purposes. So how do you join? You can join in five easy steps. The first being of which to log on to the Nourishing Africa portal, www.nourishingafrica.com. For those of you saying that the image is not clear, I think it's a matter of network. Mine was also not clear at the beginning, but it's now clear. So if you have a very strong network, you should be fine. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we are uh, Nourishing Africa team members on the call. Please uh, drop the link to the membership page such that people can access the link directly. So the first step, log on to the platform, click on the entrepreneurs tab, you click on sign up. So Signing up to become a member of the club is different from, for example, signing up to the Entrepreneur Support Program or even signing up for our newsletter. So these are very different things. So you actually need to click on the Entrepreneur Support tab because we've gotten a lot of questions related to this. How can they join the club? So you have to sign up by providing information about your businesses. There's a form that pops up. You click on the form, you fill in the necessary information and you submit. So we're going to review the information that you submit, verify that you actually have existing businesses and we confirm your application within 24 hours. So this makes you members of the Nourishing Africa Hub and you can begin to enjoy the exclusive benefits that are li uh, listed on the left hand side of your screen. And of course, if you have any further questions regarding uh, your membership, you can 
contact our entrepreneur engagement associates. Um, I'll drop the emails in the chat box right now. So that's all for now on membership. Thank you for your concern. Thanks, Raman. So to provide um, more information, as Raman said, while we have the Entrepreneur Support Program, it's very important that you note that Nourishing Africa as a whole through our membership is able to provide further support to you, the entrepreneurs and your businesses. But I'm going to provide more information about the program and what the next steps are. As you know, um, by virtue of you being at this uh, webinar, you would have applied for the program already. It's important to note again that this is not the acceptance of the program. It's simply to provide more information um, as we have been uh, inundated with various questions, concerns, uh, wanting to know what the next steps are. And so we decided to have this quick meeting to do so. Uh, please note that we also ask answering questions via the Q&A. Uh, I kindly ask, please uh, ask questions, not necessarily a hello or, um, or that of the sort. Ask the questions that you'd like answered. Uh, we have a team at the back end that's answering questions via the chat. Some of them will also answer them through uh, this process after I've gone over this. So in terms of the Entrepreneur Support Program, as you know, we are going to accept a 1,600 entrepreneurs. We currently have 21,000 uh, applications. So we are in the process of bringing down that number through a robust process. Uh, that 1,600 will take the diagnostic tool where um, it could be up to the 1,600, but at least 800 of the entrepreneurs will move forward to the training, uh, which is a 12 day online seminar. It's important to note the entire program is online. It is virtual due to the current climate and COVID-19 and other restrictions, it's important that we are safe, we are keeping you safe. Um, and the program is 100% virtual online. Uh, of those 800, we will provide grants uh, of up to 3.5 million Naira to 125 entrepreneurs. And this will be done through a pitch where we uh, various through a committee um, which will have uh, representatives from both MasterCard Foundation, USADF, and other financial leaders. Uh, we, they will decide uh, based on the pitch of a revised business plan that would be done by the entrepreneurs within the program. They will select the 125 entrepreneurs that will receive grants. For those who they feel as though should receive financial support but cannot receive grants, we will then uh, refer these entrepreneurs to the financial institutions that we have partnered with to provide favorable financing, including Sterling Bank and FCMB. Uh, thereafter, and during this time, uh, we will provide ongoing support and mentoring and provide as much advice, uh, technical assistance, experts to help you grow your business with either with the financing or without the financing for at least one year afterwards. And that is the, the course as a whole. The application criteria, as you'd know, uh, range between ensuring that you're a Niger Nigerian citizen between the ages of 20 and 40, and that you own an agribusiness within the focus states. Uh, please note that it's only those that have existing businesses that have uh, proof of an existing business in these 11 states that would be able to qualify uh, for the program. Uh, you also need to be able to provide information that verifies this, this information, such as ensuring that you're within that age and that you have an existing business. It's also, be, it's also important to know that you have to be ready to participate in the full program, the due diligence, as well as the evaluation process. Preference, it, um, preference for those who enter the program and those who will be successful is for women. The women-owned businesses take preference for the program. It's important to also note that the, the, those who are accepted is based on a, new, a number of factors ranging from this criteria, uh, as well as the answers that you have given us through your application form. Please also note, as I said, attending does not mean that you have been selected for the funding. This will be communicated to you. Um, I'm going to go to the next slide now so you can see um, 
the deadlines as to when certain aspects will happen. The training is strictly online. Only people selected for the applic application stage can go on to the training and the overall program. As such, if you're not selected for the program, you will not be able to participate in any aspect of the program moving forward. Um, and this is not a government sponsored program. So just to go over deadlines, we have kept the, the application process opened up on the uh, in December last year and it will be open until this Sunday. This Sunday evening is when the application process closes uh, and people will not be able to apply for the program. You will be notified about your application between the 18th and 20th of January uh, of this month. And that was that would be the stage in which you would know if you are now a um, if your application was successful or unsuccessful. We will then, with this notification, send you a signing. Um, uh, we'll send you a pack that will include a participants' agreement, a handbook, uh, and various reading materials that essentially you will need to go over in order to be fully embraced into the uh, program. We expect that you return the uh, participants agreement by email signed by the 24th of January. Please note that if we do not receive a signed return, a signed copy of the participants agreement from you, we will take it that you no longer want to be part of the program. And that will allow us to um, add one of the people that we would consider to be on the waiting list to join the program. We then have the diagnostic tool open on the 25th of January, as I had explained. This diagnostic tool is to help us better serve you. It's for us to ensure that we know your point, your pain points, as well as the areas in which your business has, um, the structure of your business, how it has been going, as well as ways that we can support you. This will also allow us to know when we can have the 12 day seminar, because we will ask your availability during certain times. As such, the deadline for the diagnostic tool is to be completed by the 14th of February. And then we will have the online seminar in March 2021. As I said, the exact date would be based on the overall response from the diagnostic tool on participants availability. We will then have the seminar for 12 days in March. And during that seminar, the, the way the seminar is structured, the curriculum would be based on seeing how you can apply the material to your business and restructure your business model to ensure that it's resilient, it's agile. And through this, you'd be able to build in a refined business model or something that can help your business grow and ensure that it is susceptible or it's not susceptible to future shocks. That would lead you to build a business pitch that based on, on the seminar, you would pitch to the committee that will decide who will receive the grants. Uh, that pitch will be done in June to 20 June of this year, and the grants will be selected in the same month by the committee. We will then also ensure that those who will not receive grants but would be referred to financial institutions would be referred. Uh, the selection of those participants would be done in June as well, and the disbursements of funds or the referrals to financial institutions would begin in August. It's important to note that the funds would not be given at one go, they would be dispersed based on milestones that would be agreed on prior to. That would mean that based on dispersing the first uh, trenchment of funds to the grant recipients and those who were successful, we would give uh, X amount of the, the, the total funds. And then once milestones have been met, the next trench um, of the funds would be dispersed uh, this is to ensure that participants are using the money correctly and that it's not being used for non-business um, related activities. Then we will provide technical support from that August for a full year till August 2022. So in terms of next steps, please note the deadlines uh, as I had stated previously and when you would hear from us. Please take note of the deadlines and days to ensure your availability because you have to be, if you are selected to be a participant, you have to be fully engrossed in the program in order for you to potentially 
uh, receive funding. Successful applicants will be required to provide uh, relevant documents to verify their claims to the business that they run and the various um, uh, statements that have been made during the application process and during the diagnostic tool process. And it's important to join the Nourishing Africa Hub to access further resources and opportunities as well. So there are a number of questions in the question, the Q&A chat. And uh, what Raman and I will do, we'll try and uh, provide answers. So what I'll do now is we'll try and provide quick answers. Ramat, I'll read them and you can quickly answer them and I'll add to them if necessary. Does that work? You're mute. That works for me, Ife. Okay. Um, so the first question is, um, are we going to assist financial, are we going to be assisted financially at the end of the program? So like Ife had mentioned, there will be grant disbursements non-refundable grant disbursement to selected participants. And as she has mentioned, it is a four stage process. So we have the diagnostic tool first, we have the training coming on next, and then the grant disbursement itself. So participants would be selected along each stage and we're looking to fund about 100 to 125 um, participants who reach the final stage. So yes, there will be grants that will be dispersed, but it will not be to every um, registered participant. Okay, great. The next question is, when would we receive, when would the support be made available? I think um, your um, presentation has addressed this. Mm -hmm. I think that question came before your presentation, if you will. Okay, okay. the next one says, what is the criteria for moving from 500 to 125 stages from 800? So moving from the uh, curriculum to the fund disbursement. So, you know, um, from the training down to the fund disbursement, after the training, we expect that the participants would be equipped with some skills that help them to better develop improve business models to you know rejig their business models and be able to put some things right within their business models and then they will be required to pitch so these pitches will be reviewed by panelists we will we will then select the 125 applicants so it depends on the number of criteria such as you know the strengths of your pitches what's the outcomes you, you are expecting uh, from the grants, what you intend to do with the grants, what new um, achievements you will be able to make and what we are to expect that your business will look like in say one year, two years. I mean, this, the panelists would be the uh, key deciding, would tell us the key deciding factors, but that's an idea of what you're looking at. But essentially it will take a pitch to move from the training stage to the uh, grant stage. Okay, great. The next question is, is it compulsory to have my business registered before I can be admitted into the Nourishing Africa program? Uh, you, registration is actually very important. While it is not the most important on our list of criteria, it is definitely a part of the criteria. So it, it has its own score. So I would encourage all businesses to actually get registered. Based on, on, just to add to what Raman said, it's important to note that the application process is a automated scoring process. As such, uh, each answer had a grade. So based on what Raman said, if your business is not registered, that will prove difficult. So it, it's not to say that you will not be accepted. It just reduces the scoring of the overall grade. What we have done is the top, based on the applications, the system that we built would automatically score the first uh, 1,600 um, and those that who are not within that, we would have the rest of them underneath in, in chronological order, order of, of scoring per se. The next question is how long is the program, um, how long will this program take us? Okay, um, you've also addressed that, but just in summary, um, from launch to the end of the training um, technical support, that's about a year and a half. 
So from the very moment when we fully launched the program through the diagnostic tool down to the uh, pitch and then to the grants disbursement, and that's about six months or so. And then we will provide technical assistance support through uh, monitoring and evaluation for another one year. And this one year also includes the staggered disbursement of the funds. So the funds will not be gotten at once. So you would get a, a, a staggered disbursement to get a certain percentage at the beginning, a percentage towards the middle of the program. So in all, it's about uh, 18 months. Okay, and it's important to note that the questions, um, the timing for the uh, program is not 24 seven, it's not every day. It's meant to ensure that you are still able to fully run your business while being part of this program. As such, it's not every day. There are times that will be, for instance, the 12 day seminar will be every day, but it won't be for the full day. Um, and the idea of this is that we want to ensure that we built a program that allows you to successfully and efficiently continue to run your business while being engrossed in this program fully. And that is why the duration is longer than a quick, um, quick course per se. So the next question is, um, what would you, no. the next question is, will we get a certificate after the training? If you want me to answer that. Oh, yes. Please. All right. So it's a two week training. But what we will do, and you know, it's still under debate if we should hand out certificates or not. And this way, we will confer with our facilitators to decide this. But currently, we've not decided on that aspect. Okay. There's also a question about state. Please note that if your state is not part of, is not one of the 11 focus states, it would not be uh, accepted. You unfortunately would not be accepted into the program. We hope to do this again in the future and have more states involved. Uh, that would also answer many of the questions. There are many questions around if this state is part, if this state is not. Uh, please look again at the, let me move back to these states. Uh, if your state is not one of them, unfortunately, you will not be successful in your application. The next question is, um, how would I showcase my business? How would I showcase my business on your platform? Please go to nourishingafrica.com forward slash entrepreneurs as Ramat has stated to join the Nourishing Africa Hub. Uh, please sign up and you'd be able to then um, be able to showcase your business like many of our other entrepreneurs. Uh, we have a question about how many beneficiaries in the grant stage. It's 125 direct grant beneficiaries and there is no number on the amount of referrals we can refer to our financial institutions and financial partners. Um, the a uh, question about, will this presentation be sent to participants? Uh, we can, uh, we, we see no reason. We'll also put it on the Nourishing Africa Hub for you to access uh, at any point. We also have a question about, um, is this webinar only for today or are we going to attend other webinars throughout the program? This would be dependent on if you are successful for the program. We won't have frequent webinars. There will be other aspects of the program as well. Uh, Ramat, I'm coming back to you. I'm just trying to get through as many. We have over a hundred questions at the moment. So I'm trying to speed through. Um, a question is about how important is business plan in applying for this program? Ramat, over to you. So uh, business planning would uh, also form part of the training. And like uh, I had earlier, uh, earlier mentioned, you would be uh, pitching your business. So it's more or less, you know, if, you, if you've pitched before, you know, it's summarizing your business plan under one to three minutes. So it is very important to have your business plan or at least you have a roadmap. And the training would help you to be able to fashion this 
um, better. If you have one, then good for you. But the training would also consist of a component that would help you to develop this and subsequently pitch um, to apply for the grant. Uh, there's a question about why it's limited to some states. This is uh, as a result of our agreement with our partners, Mastercard Foundation and the USADF. Only certain states uh, are applicable for the program, and we hope to do, as I said previously, we hope to include more states in the next uh, um, program that we have. Um, the next question is, um, some states in Nigeria are not included, answered that. I've answered the maximum, minimum number of funding. The main aim, Rama, please, what is the main aim and objective of this organization? Okay, um, thank you to whoever um, asked that question, but I assume that you've not joined uh, at the beginning where if you did an introduction of Nourishing Africa. So for us at Nourishing Africa, we want to be able to see over a million agri-food businesses in Africa scale their businesses. And we do this, uh, I mean, support them to be able to scale their businesses by providing them access to different resources, opportunities, and tools that they need to do this. And that is why we have the Nourishing Africa Hub which is actually a membership and digital platform where agri-food businesses across the continent, not only in Nigeria, can sign up, can become a member and be able to access these different resources and opportunities that we've put together. So for us, we are on a mission to equip, to empower, celebrate agri-food entrepreneurs across the continent through the various means of resources and tools to provide to them. Great. So, and one of those, is of course, is this entrepreneur support program that we have now launched. And that is why becoming a member of the hub is very important so that you can benefit from other programs that we launch in the, in the future. And there are several other resources on the hub um, beyond this ESP that you can take advantage of. Okay. So the next question is around, uh, hope to consider people in rural areas. One aspect for us is that we are not uh, particularly uh, we're not finicky about rural versus uh, urban, but what is important is having access to uh, having connection or access to internet. Because the program is online fully, it's important that uh, entrepreneurs, regardless of if you're in rural or urban areas, are able to uh, be part of the program virtually either via your phone or computer. The next question is about registration um, for the program. There are a few people who have said that when they first tried to apply for it to be members, they didn't have, they didn't meet the criteria, but they've now beefed that up. Uh, please note that we will get back to you on that. Um, and the application, our team will get back to you as to uh, being onboarded onto the Nourishing Africa profile. Uh, the next question, Ramat, is, uh, I've said, yes, we can get the slides from today. Um, what about what about those that don't have a business yet, but they're eager to start the business if funds will be provided? I think uh, it uh, also aligns with the question I just answered now. Unfortunately, we are unable to uh, support businesses that are yet to kick off. So it's only for existing businesses that are able to prove their existence, their operations, and any impact on the landscape. Very sorry about that. Um, we've got some more questions about states and various states, um, Adamawa, Bauchi. Uh, we will hope to do more states um, and in the future. As we said, the application process, a lot of people said they've applied since December, what's the next steps? Please note that uh, all applications and communication for Nourishing Africa will only begin after the 18th of um, January. So even if you have applied, if you haven't applied, um, we will not send any information about the ESP to you until the 18th of January. Uh, can NGOs? Yeah, interesting question here. 
uh, I think I, uh, you can answer that. So someone said, I applied for the program and I'm turning 20 on the 11th of January, 2021. Will I be disqualified? No, you won't. You can enter. At the stage at which you are 20 from the, uh, the start of the program, you are more than willing, you're more than able to apply. Um, what are the terms of disbursement of funds to select the participants? Sorry, can you take that again? What are the what's what are the requir well, requirements for disbursement of funds to participants? I think I've addressed this before. So um, these requirements would be fully communicated to the selected applicants who get to this stage. Remember that it's a stage by stage process. So these requirements would be definitely communicated. But I've mentioned quite a few earlier on in terms of the strengths of your businesses, your pitch and um, a couple more other requirements, your documentation as well. Uh, one question is, uh, please note that the application registration to the Entrepreneur Support Program is extremely different from the membership registration. There are two separate things requiring two separate registrations. If you'd like to be a Nourishing Africa member where you, put, where you would receive resources, opportunities, access to various membership opportunities that we provide, that is separate from being part of the Entrepreneur Support Program, which is a uh, which has a start and an end date uh, and has a completely different registration. Please take note of this. Um, and a lot of the questions are around this as well. Another question is, uh, what will happen to those who are not selected? Will there be any kind of assistance for them? So there are two or more selection stages. So at this very beginning stage, where we have more than 21,000 applicants, and we're looking to select 1,600 um, participants into the program. So uh, for those who are not selected, the support that will be rendered will, will be for them to join the Nourishing Africa Hub uh, to be able to access further resources and opportunities that we will have for them in the future. So that's the very first. Then the second is that of those who are now uh, into the program, the 1,600 people that we have selected. So when it gets to the funding stage where only 125 people will be selected for the funding opportunity, then the rest who are partaking of the training will be referred to funding organizations who we have partnered with for favorable funding. So that would not be on us, it would be on these funding organizations. And of course, those that are referred, I mean, the businesses that are referred have to meet the criteria for these funding organizations. But by partnering with them, we are ensuring that you get favorable um, funding for your businesses. Um, what are the criteria for selection for the finalists? As I said, there's a range of them ranging from your, uh, it's, it's an automated, structure ranging from where if your business is registered currently engaged in um, an agricultural operation whether it's from farm to fork um, as we said women are um, are given preference women owned businesses uh, and there's a, a long list of uh, scorings that would determine the finalists and in terms of if the financial those refer to financial institutions where people provided grants or loans, that is at their discretion. So that is not something that we can um, we can say as of this point. Um, we have a question around um, registration and if your business is not being registered. Ramat has answered this previously stating that it is not, um, does not mean that by not being registered, um, you will not be able to be on the program. However, we have asked that you have to have some form of uh, proof that there is an existing business that is in operation, that is uh, tax abiding, that is uh, that has engaged in uh, the rules and regulations of running a business and is not just something that 
uh, you, one does on the side, for instance. Uh, yes, this is available. This, this PowerPoint will be made available on the Nourishing Africa Hub. It will also be, um, this is also being streamed on Facebook. There was a question about having a, a Facebook page is enough to prove that your company is operational. If Facebook alone will not be enough. Uh, you would need to have some form of verification, uh, further verification on that source. Uh, as we said, your business has to be operational, so it's not an ideation phase. Uh, and what is a business? What about businesses that are in the process of CIC registration? Um, so for us, if you are in the process of CIC re uh, registration, there would be some form of proof of this, a proof of progress and so forth that you can uh, provide to prove the claim. Uh, where will the pitching take place? It will be virtual. Um, what, uh, oh yes, Ramat has answered this question. Is it possible to have mail to everyone to seek that's seeking participants. I'm sorry, I do not understand this question. I have no idea anyone that's seeking participants. As I said, this will be made available um, on the Nourishing Africa Hub after this session. Um, Ramat, does someone who engages in selling agricultural products, can they benefit from this program? Okay, so um, if you have looked at the flyer for the program, we have some targets or uh, focus areas. But yes, if the agricultural products are, you know, within the value chain crops that we have indicated in our application criteria, yes. Um, the next question is, uh, what's the criteria to be a member for the Nourishing Africa Hub? So for criteria to become a member of the Nourishing Africa Hub, it is similar to that of the Entrepreneurial Support Program. The very first being that you need to have an existing agri-food business. And that agri-food business can be anywhere from farm to fork. Um, that is maybe production, uh, marketing, um, extension services, or even agri agricultural technology, or even if you, if you are involved in the food business. So anywhere from front to front, you can apply to become a member of the Nourishing Africa Hub. And you must also be, that everyone here is from Nigeria, so it has to be an African owned business and also located within Africa. So I don't know if we have people who are joining us from Germany, for example, and you don't have a business here in Nigeria, your business has to be located in an African country for you to become a member of the National Africa Hub. And lastly, your business has to be verifiable through either a social media channel, your website, an existing product or services. And um, people need to be able to have dealt with you in a business capacity or the other. Okay. Um, the next question is, um, the, just to note, there's been questions about grants versus loans. The 125 grants that we will give to the grant recipients are not repayable. They're grants, uh, they're not loans. Um, um, in terms of, uh, there's a question about the essence of the program. We have gone over this. Please go to the Nourishing Africa Hub for further details um, and frequently asked questions as well. We do only have nine minutes left. Uh, so we're going to ask a few more questions. If we have not answered any of your questions, please uh, go to the Nourishing Africa Hub. Uh, Ola will, one of our, uh, our team members will write it in the comments to go to nourishingafrica.com forward slash ESP. There are a list of frequently asked questions that will allow you or that will provide further information um, on the program. And if none of those, uh, if your question is still not answered thereafter, please reach out to us via the ESP email address uh, on the application flyer. So I'm just gonna read out five more questions. Um, and Rama, the first one is, um, 
If the majority grant admits have developed the idea at the very beginning, what will now share for the team? If the majority of the grant, sorry, this question, if the majority of the grant is needed for development of the idea at the very beginning, what will Nourishing Africa do? So uh, the idea of this is that as an existing agribusiness, you're not developing your program. You're not developing your business. We are going to help you pivot aspects of your business model that does not agree or is uh, not working within, uh, the, I guess, the new business times in terms of COVID-19, ensuring that your business model makes uh, sense and can stay afloat and thrive during this period and there onwards. Uh, that's the purpose of the program and that's why we're here. And through the training, once the training is done, what would work, we aim to do is to provide um, a little bit of that funding to help you implement the changes that you have discussed through the course of the program. I hope that answers the question. The next one is, um, if someone applies to become a member, are you issuing certificates for membership? Ramas. No, there is no certificate for membership on the hub. In fact, membership on the hub is, uh, just imagine you're joining Facebook or LinkedIn. So um, it's there to help you with resources that you need for your business on a day-to-day -day basis. Trainings, mentoring, connection with experts, connection with uh, different distributors and suppliers. So it's not, um, it's not a certificate thing. The training is the one that has maybe a certificate component. I hope that's clear. Okay, so I'm going to move on to um, next steps. So in terms of that, please follow us on social media and send an email to us if none of your questions have been answered. And if you have not gone on to the Nourishing Africa uh, ESP platform um, and therefore there are frequently asked questions there. There's one important question I've just seen about if you are located in one place, but your business is located in another place. Uh, this would prove difficult in the long run, um, and we would have further questions as to where, uh, how that works, per se. Um, if your, where your business is located is the primary importance in saying that uh, if you live in a state that is not one of the focal states, uh, but your business is, that is okay. If your business is not in one of the focal states, we will not be able to accept you into the program. Um, yes. Um, so in terms of next steps, as I said, please follow us on our social media platforms. We provide information opportunities as well through these platforms at Nourish Africa, at Nourishing Africa. Um, and subscribe to our newsletter where you'd actually be able to get new opportunities we send uh, funding opportunities, training opportunities by email on a weekly basis to our subscribers. Uh, you could subscribe via the Nourishing Africa hub, go to nourishingafrica.com, scroll to the bottom of the page where you'd be able to type in your name and email and you would be automatically part of our mailing list for our opportunities. Uh, one more question. Um, there's a question about if you'd be disqualified for not having uh, having a virtual workspace and not physical space. Uh, no, you will not be disqualified not having a physical space. If your business does not require a physical space, um, then we will not disqualify you on those purposes. As long as your business as a whole is still um, engaged um, and and currently engaged in agriculture and food. There is a question about tax. Um, if you are a business and you're running your business, we'd expect that you are still abiding by the laws of running a business. As such, when we ask you to provide information about your business to ensure that you are operational, this would include you showing that you are paying your business taxes, that you are accredited or you have some form of business that is uh, registered or is known um, and that you are actually doing work and you're not an ideation phase. It is not a, a, a concept that is yet to be born. 
on that note, Ramad, uh, over to you to close. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'm going to hand it over to Ramad to uh, close us off. Thank you so much, Ifi. And of course, uh, very, a very big thank you to all of you who have particip participated this afternoon. And thank you so much for your questions. We apologize that we are unable to get to all the questions, but you can still send us important questions that have been unanswered um, by emailing us uh, on esprogram at nourishingafrica.com. That's the email on the screen right now, esprogram at nourishingafrica.com, and we will do our best to get to these um, questions. So on a final note, we really want to say that this program is born out of our need to help businesses to remain in business right after the COVID-19 pandemic. And the COVID-19 pandemic actually only revealed to us that the state of the agribusinesses that are out there, especially in Nigeria, are actually very fragile. Many of those businesses you know, closed down during the pandemic. Many have not been able to start their businesses all over again. Many are looking for funding. Many, you know, there have been several challenges that have been revealed as a result of the pandemic. So the pandemic is just a catalyst for us to be able to come up with this solution. And we hope that this program, you know, with a combination of the diagnostic tool, the training and the funds will really help these businesses to strengthen and retool their businesses. So we're looking forward to engaging um, the about 1,600 people that will make it forward to the um, launch stage of this program. And um, of course, we're also encouraging you to join the Nourishing Africa Hub. We uh, unfortunately will not be able to engage the over 20,000 applicants, but, but these applicants can also become members of the hub and take advantage of the several other channels through which we provide support to agri-food businesses across the continent. So I'll say thank you for joining us this evening. Do have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye.